Well, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. We're Wednesday. Yes. I had to look up for a moment. I'm like, are we Wednesday? We are. Oh, my sister Jessica, she always looks forward to today. She always giggles when we say happy hump day. Just a random thought there. She we like said to little Marco, and my sister always says it to her, and she just always is like, Yes, it's the best. There is something great about Wednesday. Halfway there, halfway to Friday. Uh, but overall, I think every day can be great if you make it great. Well, we are uh, here, me and Shiloh. Shall I say hi? Hey, everyone. There we are. Um, I'm waiting for your guys' comments. Do you have your phone, Shy? Just to make I sure. I just realized as I'm sitting here, that's what I was about to say. Is I've okay, got perfect. my laptop to be able to scroll help and watch me, Yeah, help me keep troll of comments as well. I so. can go grab it really quick if you want me to. Well, let me see here. Okay. So comments too. Okay, perfect. I just got oh, there we go. Cynthia, hello. How are you from Tennessee? Awesome. Okay, well, thank you for commenting, Cynthia, because it really is a, a little nerve wracking to be like, is it all working? I feel like every time still to this day going live, but we are so excited to just give you a little glimpse and even just some of our own personal thoughts about this month's um, kit and the wildlife is what it's called. And, um, yeah, so that's what we're going to share with you guys today. First off, Shai, what were your initial thoughts of this kit personally? Um, well, I thought it was a really fun feel and theme to the paper. I have tons of pictures that go with this type of styling. And I feel like it's, was a little bit different than what we've done before. And so, I don't know. My initial thoughts are that it was just really fun. I love the difference. I love the templates that came with it. So it's, it was pretty exciting for me. I had a lot yeah. of fun working with it. I enjoyed, I definitely had some zoo pictures naturally that I wanted to use, but even the outdoors pictures worked really great with the color palettes and just the vibe mm -hmm. in general. Um, with this kit. So, okay, I pulled down the PDF. If you have not had a chance to check out this PDF yet, we're not going to go over the whole thing this time, but we do want to share just a little bit of uh, creations that we created with you um, in hopes that it inspires you to pull out the kit to um, set aside some time and to create with it because it really is so much fun. Um, okay, so here is the Living Wildlife. Um, I'll actually go, uh, let me see. Okay. Sorry, I'll go back up. <laughs> the, the kits are set out into monthly challenges. And so I want to highlight that because what, this is only the second month that this kind of, of uh, this new format was this way. And it's all with the purpose of inspiring each of us to kind of create from start to finish. And what better way than to have like a friendly challenge to do that? I know for me, the motivation to challenge myself to use this kit really does um, allow me to kind of put it a priority to create and in doing such really does give me that moment to kind of process and reflect and um, just have that enjoyment and that fulfillment seeing a final creation which is so beautiful about just those little side effects of creating that it does and it's always nice to check something off your list I'm a very much doer so I enjoy that <laughs> as well <laughs> All right, so the first up was the sketch challenge, um, which we utilized the placemat. If you guys are not familiar with the term placemat, it does, we do have a designer template in this kit that is a placemat. And what's great about these is that it kind of gives you that foundational element to build up around, but also kind of a, a, a you know, a guideline that you can add pictures in here, you can add journaling things that you can replace this here, but it really just gives you that foundational. So that sketch is built off of that. But what I love about sketch challenges is to see the diversity, yeah. like to see how each person in, like interprets that sketch. And so I do want to spotlight each one of them. So Shiloh, you're up first. Yeah. Awesome. Well, 
this was a this was a fun layout. This is actually probably one of my favorites from this kit. I I had these pictures from a fun cruise adventure, and I knew it was perfect for this paper. And I really loved the word that's included in this kit. Um, and I actually backed mine with some colored paper. I don't know if it really shows very well in that that particular picture, but. But I just I love the way it came together. Um, you will notice that I use the the placemat that's included um, twice within there. Though there's only one sheet of polka dot paper, so I did have to piece the right side <laughs> together to make it work. But I really love the idea of it. And so when I made when I made the right side, I used um, my leftovers and my placemat to create the bottom edge, a little strip along the top. And there was just enough on the little corner to go behind um, my circle there. And it, it worked out perfect um, being able to use that whole sheet. But I loved, I actually really, this is one of my favorite placemats we've used so far. I agree. Um, I really I, it was so useful. I thought it was like the perfect size. The mm -hmm. edging was really cute. It was fun to be able to put lots of pictures in, which I did on another layout. But it also just makes a great placemat, you know, to, to build off of it however you wanted like in this layout right here i just added the the two larger um pictures and then i went ahead and did the little window cut out right on yeah. this one but then i left the rest of it open for my title and it worked out i don't know it was just really fun to change it up um, well, we're so used to the term of photo mat like right but the placemat is it acts like a photo mat plus a foundational item plus like this focal point. And so it really helps make those layouts. That's what I loved about it. I sat down and they were just, the layouts were just coming together so quickly. <laughs> this is one of those kits where I was like, bam, 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 and it was yeah. done. And I was like, that was fast. Yeah. It was awesome. I love this feature that they did on the blog, the team. It's so fun oh. to kind of like see the sketch and then it like you see the version of it go to. That is cool. Isn't that fun? So same thing. So here's mine. So you can see the same sketch, but I did mine a little bit different than Shai's, right? I put the one picture and then kind of put multiple pictures in a row. So that's kind of my interpretation of it. So you can see lots of fun okay. ways. And then Debbie, who's not with us live today, but I absolutely love hers too. She, she, she stuck pretty similar. So you could kind of see that side and then kind of the double on that side. But I love how she pulled in laurel crescents in there. Seriously, so that's so cute. I This is the first time I'm seeing all this. I've been moving. I know. <laughs> I love the laurel crescents with the title over it. That is so cute. And then how she doubled up the edging. Yeah. How oh, cute. yeah, the, the edging on the placement yeah. at the bottom trimmed that's it. That's really yeah. cute. That is really fun. And then I, I think love that... How... Go ahead. I was actually going to point out on yours. I love, I love that you use the little. Is that is it creature? I can't remember it. That one's called the little head. Oh, uh, little creature. Yes. Yeah, I thought it was little creature. creature. With, with the lacy trims to make that, that's adorable. Yeah. And then I also took uh, the border. I'm trying to remember exactly what border that was. I think it's Sunnybrook, if I remember correctly. It looks I'll like go, it. Yeah, I'll have to go back and check the PDF. They'll have it listed there. And I just aligned it with the placemat in that one point. And then just yeah, perfect. Kept, because I love that pattern paper so much. I wanted it to be represented more firmly. So um, mm -hmm. I pulled it in in a border because borders are great that way for really bringing in some of the aesthetic of the pattern paper and stuff. But I love the the black on the blue here too. That's so cute. Okay, yeah. lots of fun details. So we definitely have versions of this as well. So uh, Debbie is all in the details here. Shiloh had um, a simple, uh, more simple um, in nature. It's really, it really is simple. You did the placemats double to them and yeah. a couple little embellishments and it looks so cute. And then I added a few more layers with like lacy trims and the little critters and I pulled in some rings. So more cherry picking in that layering um, capability there. But it's always fun to kind of play your way, of mm -hmm. course, as you're creating, but lots of different styles that you can go for. If you're in a more detailed layer, then pull out those little knickknacks and um, stashes that you might have and add little details. Okay, the, the other thing I'll point about Debbie's little detail, look how cute on this, um, the Laurel Crescent on the right side. 
so she did the middle leaves. Do I even have floral crescent sound? I wonder if I do. I, I and then she one. ended the tip with the flower. You see that? Yeah, that's what I was trying to see. Because again, this is the first time I've seen it, but that is a really fun way to do that inside edge like that. Yeah, super cute. She's so good at those little bits. Little details. Um, so that is the sketch challenge. If you have not had a chance to play with the sketch challenge and to be inspired by it, definitely take on the challenge. Make sure to uh, create, take a picture, post it, use the appropriate hashtag for that challenge and post it by the end of the month. It's so easy to kind of take that challenge, especially a sketch challenge and just recreate your version and just see what comes because of it, whatever that might be insp you're inspired by. So that is challenge number one there. And I've already seen so many people in the community post it. And it's just, again, it's always surprising to me to take one concept, one idea and the vast majority of um, versions that come from it is so inspiring in and of itself. So I have to check that border really fast because I have to know if I was right. Yeah, Sunnybrook. Okay, I'm like, I have to know if I was right. All right. Um, what other things, Shai? I'm, like I said, I don't want to kind of pull through this whole thing, but okay, let's talk about the giraffe for a moment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God, adorable. so adorable. I was like, can I do a lot of giraffes? I almost did like a herd of giraffes, but then it didn't really, it took away from my pictures a little bit. So I kind of held myself back a little bit. Let me see. They were really, really fun to play with. I, I added a, the giraffe to two of my layouts because I was just like. Oh, you did. I, you added two right there. I want, yeah. Yeah. And I, the fun thing is, is, um, well, they're really easy to use. So on one, I guess it's kind of hard to see there, but on the back one, I just did like a simple pen outline, you know, in the, in the tracing sections of the giraffe. And then on the one on top, I actually just used some of my acrylic paints. It was like gold paint. And I just laid it on and dabbed it and let it dry and then cut it out. And so that was kind of a fun, different way to do it. And then I did like a, on another layout, I like just used a white pen and like colored it all in. Here, so it was really fun to play with. Yeah, I do. So okay. this one right here is just like pen work. Right. Right through. But then this one, you kind of see the differences. So I've got it just kind of outlined here. And then this one's all gold paint. Yeah. Which I was really I'm, fun. I think I'm going to have to do a whole family of giraffes. And <laughs> I know they're so now, cool. I actually, I like <laughs> Well, I added it to, yeah, I added it to the oh. stage, but I really wanted to add a lot of pictures. So I kind of opted out for like mm -hmm. less giraffes for more pictures, you know, but yeah. yeah, just simple doodling is so cute. And then the paint, it's just, um, yeah, it didn't bleed or anything. It looks great. No, like, it worked. Modeling case for that, you know, yeah. I was surprised at how well it took it. Um, but it, it was super easy and just dabbed it on and I pulled it off real carefully, you know, and then I had that. And that's what I had. Like, I was like, oh, I really need like something in this color scheme. And so I was like, I'm just going to try some gold paint and right. it worked perfect. It's super yeah. cute. No, definitely love those. Okay. Cause I know a lot of people are loving the giraffe, which is so much fun. So we look forward to seeing all of your guys' many giraffe creations and mm -hmm. Someone's going to have to do multiple on a page if you beat me to it. I think I'm going to have to. Good I just, yeah, just like at the bottom of a page, you know, how cute would that be? <laughs> it would be so cute. It would be really cute. I agree. Yeah. I had all these pictures, though, like I said, and then I just think the titles, too, were just so fun. There was a lot of variety in here. Like you mentioned, the wood or the if you get the paper kit, I guess I should say it comes with the wild um, in it and lots of fun ways okay but also I do have to point this out I love that <laughs> these little leaves I can't wait to do a tropical page like this one was yeah. more jungly clearly you know but no it feels I, tropical I use it on some of my tropical stuff and it oh. is an awesome leaf yeah it's just a fun size it's like perfect size and it could be really cute, like clustered around a big photo or something bright. I don't know, bright pinks and lines and bright blues. And it would be so cute. Just putting that paper a little bit. So you guys will have to let us know what you think of the designer templates overall in this kit and or if you have played with them yet. 
lots of fun designs, of course. Um, oh, see, and here, let me show this last giraffe. I'm, I'm kind of obsessed on these giraffes for sure. I haven't seen these ones yet either. So this is uh -huh. Debbie's layout. I haven't oh, even seen her. And she just utilized the paper in the kit. Which is really smart. And then she yeah. added the cute little bits for the feet. And the top and, and the eye. The top. Like yeah. that's really cute. Yeah, super cute. And then pulled in some little accent pieces with tiny, tiny um, highlights in those little mm -hmm. details. So we did spotlight and little critters, tiny highlights and chevrons. You'll see those throughout this, the samples that we personally created um, using, of course, the paper from this kit as well. Um, but either or, like if you have these designer templates, we'd love to see what you create with them. If you don't have them yet and you want to check them out, make sure to click on the links above um, while they're still available. They are a limited item. So while they last, basically. Uh, but yeah, it's so it's so fun to see the diversity too. I like I said, I did nature, you did like a zoo, you did a adventure. Yeah. Yep, and then I have just a, I have a, my last layout was just one from another, another cruise moment. We were, um, where was it? Puerto, Puerto Rico? Mm, no, I always confuse that one with the other one. Oh my goodness. These zoo pictures are so old. I know. So they're like, old. <laughs> like so tiny. I have had so many good pictures on this one. Like there's a lot of pictures. I actually did like one of those little hidden tab things on this one as well. I'm oh, not sure did? I, that. Yeah. I, I did like right here because I have so many pictures. I was yeah. like, I gotta get these all in here. But my ki the kids are just so little. Like, look at this. It kills me. I so I went through that. on here and I went ahead and added some more. And I just do this with little strips that you fold in half and you can Adhere to the front and the back. Yeah. Yeah. It's really easy to do such a cheat, but then I'm like, I can get all these extra pictures on my layout. <laughs> and I love how you use tiny highlights, little arrow tab. Yeah. And that's my little lift tabs, which is a fun way to, to do that. In fact, now that I'm trying to think about that. Oh, so I don't know if you can see this either. But this little accent right here is from the placemats. It's like the little arrow thing on it. I oh, think. yeah. Cute. And so I was like, oh, I'll do use that from the placemat to add a little extra pen work. This placemat so that's what she's talking about. Uh -huh. so yeah, so I took that and I added, added that and that's from the kit. But just another way for me to get lots and lots of pictures. I got a lot of pictures on this layout. Oh, and on this one, I just use the placemat to extend and create a full 12 inch border on that. To oh, that's fun too. Yeah, it's kind of that balance that on the side there because yeah. I felt like you know I had to bring that out from the other side over so so that's another fun thing you can do with those you can get a really fun border well the edging is a little bit more I guess you could say wild than the other one like they're a little bit more offset too so it kind of adds yeah. a bit more of yeah. a personality character to the design overall right so, so that is a little bit of a closer look at some of the samples that you guys can see in the Digital I Did book. We hope that you take advantage of pulling down that Digital I Did book, uh, taking a peek at it, looking through it, seeing what the little details or little inspiration that inspires you. And ultimately, that's what we hope is that it just inspires you to go and play to create a layout or two or three of your own and to um, experience the joy and the fulfillment and the uh, benefits from the creating process in general. Because I know for me each month, it's it's super rewarding to do that. It's very fulfilling in and of itself. So, um, so definitely take a look and download that and um, make sure to share it with us in the community because we love to see what you guys create each time. So, all right. Well, thank you guys so much again. Thanks that's it. Just happy okay. creating. Um, oh, I, let me see. I love the another paper pack. Oh, yeah, Debbie. Um, we'll see if we can get some more paper up eventually on those. And I think I don't see any question questions. Um, oh, Debbie says it's her one of her absolute favorite kits. Well, good. Aww. That's hard for me to answer. I think every new kit is my absolute favorite kit. <laughs> In I all know. honesty, I'm it's always, so hard for me. every month I'm like, oh, this one's super fun. I just finished my um, layouts 
was that yesterday or a day before? <laughs> Monday. <laughs> yeah. Monday. Yeah. Uh, for, for the next kit, right? That one's next yes. month. It's and it was really fun. And I had so many pictures again. I guess I know. that's the perk of taking so many pictures all the time. I always sure. it works. Well, Mary, I actually haven't seen your submissions for your upcoming class with this kit, but I'm going to have to go take a peek now since you just reminded me. I want to see like what your draft turned out. I'm sure it's amazing. I know. <laughs> I always love little drafts turning draft. out. I see all these little drafts. Um, <laughs> um, uh, Okay, I don't see any other questions. So, well, we will see you guys soon and um, look forward to seeing what you guys create. All right, take care. We'll talk soon. Bye guys. Bye.